What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. This week, it's a pro tip. Something that we've run into a lot over the last year or so is extra fans for the motor. Whether you're racing modified, four-wheel drive buggy, or the popular spec classes, 17.5, 13.5, stuff like that, there is a lot of advantage to running a fan on the actual motor. The speed control fan is great, but an extra one on the motor does a lot. And a lot of times folks just, because it's got a receiver plug in it, they'll just either plug it into the receiver port, or an extra slot on your receiver, or they'll actually use the programming port on the speed control. That can lead to a couple operational issues where the, the speed control doesn't want to turn off after the race because some of the aftermarket fans that are out there, they draw a ton of power and it's just more than the switch is able to turn off basically but you can just unplug the speed control and it turns off just fine however because of the need for more airflow pre-race and post-race cooling racers have started to wire the fan directly to the actual battery terminals on the speed control itself and i'm going to show you how we've been doing that uh, the best way that i found is to get yourself a jst plug or this is actually an old servo extension that i cut in half and i just have the red and black wires on there and essentially what you do is you solder onto the same tabs that the battery wires are soldered to and that way you've got this little plug chilling in your car and you can plug your cooling fan into it if you guys have been racing for any amount of time, you'll know that fans get damaged during racing. They can be broken. They can, you know, get ejected from the car. All sorts of fun stuff can happen uh, while you're on the racetrack. So having an easy-to-replace fan is kind of nice so that you don't have to get in there and solder on your speed control every time. Or if you just need to work on the car and get the fan out of the way, it's real nice to be able to just unplug it and get it out of there. So I'm just going to strip these two tips right here. And then twist these nice and tight anytime you strip some wires you want to twist the ends very tightly and then i'm just going to tin these real quick a little dab of solder there never solder over your fresh pit mat without something below it otherwise you're going to get solder splatters on there like i just did and then all i do is i take this guy and i just tack it there and tack it there but before i do that I like to give the speed control just a little bit of fresh solder right there, or solder if you're not an American like us, because it is spelled solder. I will give you that. So a little bit of extra tin. It's not working. Right on the edge there. Just makes it a little easier to tack these wires on top. So place that guy there. Shot of that guy on. Place that guy there. Shot of that guy on. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And now I've got this extra little JST plug chilling for power. So let's uh let's take a real quick look. Where's my plug? So with that all set up, as soon as I plug this fan in, the fan starts to run. So you get instant fan. The speed control is not on. And if I turn it on or turn it off, the fan keeps running. So before you run, your fan's running. When your car's in post-race tech, your fan's running. The fan is pretty much running faster than it normally does off the regular six volts. And I can show you that here. Here's the fan off the battery voltage. And this is the fan off the BEC voltage, so six volts. So that's just a quick pro tip, something that we've been doing at races for quite some time now. Most recently, the Roar Nationals, we found this to be a huge advantage uh, to get some motor temperatures down and keep things running a little bit better. Uh, something that everybody can do pretty easily. Like I said, you just tack the two little leads right on the end of the battery terminals, and you've got an external power source uh, ready to power your fans. Some people worry the fans are only rated for 5, 6 you know, volts type of thing. It's fine. Fans are pretty cheap. They'll be run over voltage, and they do last quite a while. They don't really... I wouldn't say they wear out very often, but they do get damaged quicker than they'll wear out in, you know, an off-road racing situation, so... Do you like podcasts? We love podcasts. We do a podcast twice a month. It's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. You can usually find it on your favorite podcast service. We give away free Hobbywing stuff each and every episode. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. If you can't find it through a search, you can look it up directly at anchor.fm slash hobbywing. And if you do any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com.
As always, folks, thanks for watching another episode of The Charlie Show right here on the Hobby Wing official YouTube channel.